All right, folks, do you want to have a mortar with a 100% accuracy rate? I give you the human mortar. To do this, you're going to require a couple of things. One, you need a mod that lets you have an inventory with your pawns. I personally use the pick up and haul mod, which I'll link up here. Secondly, your pawns are going to need a couple of things. They're going to need some way of jumping. So here we've got locust armor. You can also use jump packs. You're going to need Molotov cocktails and you're going to need your payload. So your warhead or your mortar shell. Also, it helps if your pawns are tanky, at least if you want to keep them. So we're equipping them with the good old shield belts as well. If you've not seen about jump packs and how jump packs work, please check out the other videos. I'll link them in the description. Here is our siege assembling, and here hiding in the corner are our human mortars. Right, let's get in there and land this payload. Jump in, drop the warhead, and then we're going to molotov either side of the warhead. The reason we've got two guys molotoving is more fire means they've got more to put out, more chance that the warhead will explode. Now they've been dropped, run away. And this is the tense bit. Run, 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 run. Oh, we didn't quite manage to run away there, but because we killed them pretty quickly and were quite tanky, we got away. We got away with minimum damage and we wiped out the raid. If all is lost and you're facing a raid that's too large that you think you can't fight off, you can always pick one willing colonist, willing colonist? And send them in with grenades, which will trigger the explosion immediately. This might be a one-way flight. Jump into a clear space. Drop the warhead. Drop a grenade next to it. Try and save yourself, driver, but I don't know how this is going to work out for you. Payload delivered. Your sacrifice shall be remembered in the colony history driver. Siege defeated. So as you can see, it's quite a high risk, high reward tactic. However, the more people you try it with, as in pawns that you send, the better your chances are of them surviving because more of them are tanking more shots. Obviously, you could lose more as well. I've tried smoke grenades. It's all a bit of luck. As you can see, if you've got any better ways of performing this, please let me know in the comments down below, guys. Also, if you're interested in this kind of thing, hit me a like, hit me a subscribe, and I'll keep making things like this, finding weird and wonderful ways to get around RimWorld. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in a bit, guys.